Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back again, this time with another three-game series. Today it'll be against the Kansas City Royals. And here's the standings right now because I actually went ahead and quick played a bunch of games after the last televised series, which was, I believe, the Twins versus the Twins. So um, if you remember, after that series, we were a game and a half behind the Twins. And as you can see right now, we are still a game and a half behind the Twins. So we didn't lose any ground over the quick plays. We are 40 and 28. And Minnesota at this time is uh, 43 and 28. And then you can see that um, Kansas City is 30 and 37. So they are under 500. They are struggling. And so hopefully we will take at least two out of three from them in this series. I am definitely hoping for that. So we will go ahead, get started with the game. Um, so let's see here. Play day. Looks like we're going to have Ronaldo Lopez pitching for us today. And uh, yes, we will. And we are playing. Oh, no, we're playing Cleveland. Sorry. I thought it was Kansas City. Oh, that's right. I quick played through the Kansas City series. So we are actually playing Cleveland. And um, if you want to scroll back to the Cleveland uh, record, you can see Cleveland is struggling too. In fact, I think they're, no, they're not last place because of Detroit, but they're in third, but they're far behind us. So we will be playing Cleveland and we will be going up against Zach Plasak. So let me uh, turn down the sound and uh, to a reasonable level, and then we'll play ball. And we got Timmy Anderson leading off, and I am sufficiently above the cards so that you can see the results on the cards, and Tim Anderson flies out. One down. This is a big series because playing because Cleveland is not very good, and we really need to try to take advantage of the fact that we are playing a not very good team in our division. And it will be three games, so I will also go ahead and um, try to um, edit the video, the final video, as much as I can, so that there isn't a lot of dead time in here and Francisco Lindor strikes out to lead off for Cleveland. So here we have Puig up at the plate with one down and he's going to pop out. Pops out to Anderson and that brings up Carlos Santana who is going to looks like maybe double and he does. So Fran Mil Reyes is up and he strikes out. So Cleveland comes away with nothing there. And we lead off with Encarnacion, who has been injured in past games. And so it's good that we have done even what we've done. And he singles. He leads off with a single in the second. And Breu is following him and striking out. And that brings up Grandall. And Grandall is hit by pitch and injured. Let's see how long that happens. And it's not very long at all. He stays in the game. Jimenez is up and he strikes out. So we got two down and two on here in the second. With Polka, beer barrel, Polka walks. So we got the bases loaded. And Luri Garcia up. And he's going to hit the ball first. Hopefully Santana misplays it. But he does not. So we are leading off against Perez, Robert Perez. Roberto Perez strikes out. Same thing. Uh, Hernandez. Hernandez is going to hit a double. So 
So we got Hernandez at second and one out. Jake Bowers up. And he is going to hit a single and knock in Hernandez. Oh no, not necessarily, but he is, because I'm gonna I'm gonna hold Bowers at first. So Chang is up and he got picked off. Nice. So there's two down. And Chang is up at the plate, and he's going to hit a single. And I don't even know who Chang is. And the shield is up, and the shield flies out. But they do get one run there. So we've got Timmy A up, TA7, and he's going to single. One to, it was a 1-6, to six and he got the 5, so love it. With a 50% stealing, though, at best, I'm not going to try it. And Robert strikes out. So we got one down. Anderson at first. Moncada up, and he's going to hit the ball to center. And that's to Shields, who's a two. Probably going to play it, the chances are. And he does. And then in Canarsione is up, and he hits a fly ball. So we come away with nothing in the third. And Lindor up at the plate. Hits the ball at second. That's Lurie. He may misplay it. Hopefully he doesn't. And he did. So Lindor is up, is on first. Uh, I'm going to try to hold him. Oh, no. I was holding him. So, all right. 95%. That's not good. Puig strikes out, though. So we have one down and Lindor at first. Santana up and he strikes out. Oh, no, he's going to hit a ground ball. I guess he was swinging away. I don't know. Or, or yeah, um, trying to beat the shift or whatever. So Reyes lines out, and we do get out of that inning unscathed, bringing up Abreu in the top of the fourth. And he will swing away. Pop out. So he pops out to Lindor. Grandall is up. Grandall walks, so he's been on twice, once hit by a pitch and once walking. And Jimenez is going to hit into a double play. So we're out of the inning in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth and Roberto Perez back up. And uh, double one to seven or a single, that's going to be a single. Lopez is actually pitching pretty well here. Pretty impressive. Um, he hits the ground ball to second. That's Garcia. Hopefully he makes the play this time. No. He doesn't. And uh, so now we have runners at the corners. And I am going to play for the double play. And Bowers actually gets a single. And I am going to throw for the run. And we don't get it. So Chang is up. And that's going to be a pass ball. So it's just, it's raining and pouring and all kinds of stuff here. We're not um, in good shape this game. Chain walks. So the Shields is up. And he's going to hit a fly to center. That's Lewis Robert. He should make, he may make the play, but the run will probably score. And so they got three runs just this inning so far. And then another single by Lindor. And Puig up. And he strikes out. And Santana is up at the plate. And that's going to be a double. And that's going to knock in another run. <clears throat> I mean, I don't really, yeah, he's tired, I'll bet. But he's going to at least get through this inning. And then uh, Reyes hits a double and knocks in another run. So this wasn't our this wasn't our game here. This just was not our day. Fly ball to left. Jimenez may make the play, but he doesn't. So the ball falls in front of him, and that's another run, and that's seven in this inning. And then a walk to Hernandez. So Lopez was cruising for a while and really pitching well. He, maybe not even cruising, but he was pitching well. And now he isn't. And Polka is actually going to make that play, it looks like. No, he can't get to it. So he didn't. So that's eight runs. And now we have finally 
an end to the inning. Um, but they scored eight runs, which is not good. And now we got Paul coming up, and he's going to ground out. Garcia's up. He is going to hit a double, but, I mean, you know, down 9 nothing. I don't think it really matters. Tim Anderson's up. And he's going to, there's a catcher card X. And he makes the play. Perez makes the play. And Robert is up and he's going to strike out. So that's it for us. I'm going to probably make some defensive replacements because I don't want people getting injured. Well, really, there's not a lot I can do. I'll put Engel in... Um, I'll put Engel in left for Jimenez. And I will put Delmonico at first base for Abreu. And we're going to keep Lopez out there because he's got to go at least five. I can't, you know, I can't burn through the bullpen like a madman. So. Lindor grounds out, so now he'll be at first. It's a fielder's choice. He grounded into a fielder's choice. Puig up at the plate, and he's going to hit a single double asterisk because Lopez is tired. Santana up, and Santana is going to line out. And Reyes is up. And he hits a three-run jack. Nice. And Perez comes up to the plate, and he walks. And Hernandez is up, and Hernandez is going to hit a ground ball at Tim Anderson. He beats the throw. And Bowers is up. And Bowers hits a pop out to short. So finally and mercilessly, mercifully, uh, well, mercilessly, um, Lopez gets out of the inning. So Moncada's up, and he's going to fly out. Playsack is just really, and, and I mean, and that's the other side of the coin. Not only did we, did Lopez give up a ton of runs, but we haven't gotten anything off of Playsack yet. That'll be a double for Encarnacion. Delmonico is up, and he's going to hit a fly ball. So, I mean, it's, I think it's a safe bet that we're going to lose the first game of the series. And then Chang is up, uh, leading off the bottom of the sixth. And I'm going to let Lopez pitch until he doesn't get somebody out, until somebody gets on base. Because, again, I need to save the bullpen. Lindor is up, and Lindor singles. And actually, with two outs, I'm even going to let him go through the sixth. This probably affects the ability of him to... It may. I don't know that it will, but it might affect his ability to pitch the next game. He allows a two-run homer right there. So, yeah. And Santana up, and he is going to single, incredibly, with a single one to five. So... He really is having, I mean, he got the first two out quickly, and now he's having trouble getting out of the inning, but he finally does, and so next inning I will replace him. We've got Adam Engel up, and he strikes out. Balka is up, and he is going to hit a ground ball to short and be out. And Garcia is up. And he's out. 
So on the seventh, we're going to bring somebody else in. Um, I am going to go to the bullpen where we will get uh, Fry. So we're bringing in Jace Fry to face Perez. And Perez uh, greets him with either a home run or a double, probably a home run. And it is. So there isn't really going to be a lot of, I can tell you right now, there isn't going to be a lot of editing out in this game because Cleveland has scored in, so far in every inning except the first and third. So don't expect this one to be edited too much. And that's going to be a line out, so he um, gets the second out. And Chang is up, and Chang is out. So, But they did get another run. They tacked another run on there, so... It's like, what, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14 to nothing. No, 15 to nothing. 15 to nothing? I don't know. Anderson is up, and he's going to hit a fly ball. Or a ground ball. Ground ball. Robert is up, and he strikes out. And Moncada's up. And he is going to hit a ground ball to second base. The Shields leads off the next inning, and he lines out. Or grounds out. I don't know. Lindor, it looked like a ground out, but it said line out. And he's out, and Puig. And he's going to strike out, so Fry gets us our third zero inning of the game and the first one since the third. Encarnacion is going to lead off with a double. Makes him three for four for the game, but of course in a very, very bad losing effort. Delmonico stake. There's going to be a catcher card X. Might be a pass ball, and it is. And Delmonico stake again, and he strikes out. And that brings up Grandall. And Grandall walks and angles up. And angle is out. So we get no runs in the ninth, and that's going to be it. Nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. So that's how that goes. We lose game one horribly, 15 to nothing allowing 21 hits against just our five and getting zero runs. So we will hope to do better in the next game, and I will probably monitor what our lineup is, what they have for our lineup in the next game. Okay, let's see what we got. We First of all, we got Kopech going up against Bieber, so that's potentially a good thing. Yeah, I'm going to, for Garcia, I'm going to put Madrigal in at second. Um, yeah. So that's how we're going to do that. Um, and I'm going to put McCann in at catcher just to give, uh, Grand doll a day off, and then we're gonna play ball, and hopefully do it better this time. Tim Anderson up, he strikes out. Lewis Robert, and he'll swing away. He strikes out, and Moncada is up, and he's gonna swing away. And he singles. Moncada with a single and Encarnacion up. And he pops out. So we get nothing in the first. And we go to the bottom of the first. Lindor facing Kopech. And he flies out. Just missed a home run. Puig is up. And he pops out.
and Santana is up the plate and he walks. Which brings up Ramirez. And Ramirez hits a two run home run. Unreal. And that brings up Fran Meal Reyes, and he's going to catch your card X, and, it, and he's safe. Which brings up Hernandez, who strikes out. So they get two runs there on a two run home run by uh, Jose Ramirez. Which brings up a Brave for us, and he's going to hit a single right in the middle of the column, right in the middle of a lot of outs. McCann up. And he's going to hit a single. Nice. I'm going to say hold the runners. Jimenez up. And Jimenez is going to rip a double. I don't think that'll score McCann, but it'll put him at third. I'm going to hold the runners. Madrigal is up with no outs, and he hits the ball to second base, so that should score a run. Unless he, and I don't think he had the infield in, no. So we tied the game and Angle is at the plate and he strikes out. That's the second out of the inning for us with Tim Anderson. Out. And he didn't walk him, but he lined out. So we, but we did tie the game. So Bowers at the plate and he's hit by a pitch by Kopech. That brings up Perez, Roberto Perez, and he singles up the middle and puts Bowers at third. And now there's a walk, so now Kopech has the bases loaded and no outs with Lindor up. And he surprisingly hits into a double play, which is great. But they do score a run. And then Puig is up at the plate, and he hits the ball to third. That's going to be Moncada. Hopefully makes the play. But he doesn't. It's an error. So now that's their second run of the inning. And a strikeout for Puig. So they take the 4-2 to two lead on us, and we have Robert up against Bieber. And he walks. Let's see what Robert is stealing. Not good enough. So we're going to let Moncada hit. And he is going to hit a two-run home run and tie the game again. Again, this game doesn't look like it's going to allow for a lot of editing out because there's scoring in every inning. Uh, and Canarcion up in a tie game with no outs. And he gets a single. Nice. Single one to four, and he got a three. That brings up Abreu, and Abreu is going to hit the ball to second. And that's Hernandez. He's a three, and he boots the ball. So now we got two on, no outs. McCann up, and he strikes out. Last time he hit that single that he just missed right there. And Jimenez is up at the plate, and he hits a fly ball to the right. That's Puig. Hopefully he gets it over Puig's head, which may happen. But it doesn't. But the runners do move up to second and third. So we have runners at second and third with two outs and Madrigal up. And Madrigal hitting a double. Nice. That's going to score two two more runs. And we're actually going to take the lead. And Bieber's tired, which is good. So we have a 6-4 lead right now and angle at the plate. And Engel hits the ball to Lindor, who's probably going to throw him out. But we did strike for four there. We go to the bottom of the third. And Ramirez is going to hit a ground ball. That's one away. Ramil Reyes is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to short. So that'll be two outs here in the third for the Indians. And Hernandez is going to hit a ground ball to first base. So, they got no runs there. But again, there was scoring in every inning so far. So, Tim Anderson up. And I would love to see that continue. I mean, if I have to put the video up with, you know, an hour and a half of viewing time, hey. If 
that we end up winning two out of the three. That would be nice. Fly ball to the Shields for Roberts. That's the second out of the inning. And Moncada up. He's two for two today. And he's going to be three for three. And he also has a home run. And that brings up Ben Canarcion, who can hopefully hit a homer, but he doesn't. So, no runs in the fourth. And that brings the Indians up with Jake Bowers. And Jake Bowers hits the fly ball to the right. That's Lewis Robert. And he grabs it for the out. And that brings up Roberto Perez. And he is going to hit a home run. So the Indians are not going um, easily. They're not going without a fight. They make the score 6-5. And Shields is up at the plate and grounding out. And so that's two down for the Indians. And up steps Lindor. And Lindor is going to pop out. Pop out! But the Indians get a run. And so again, every inning there was scoring. So I cannot really edit this video down. And there's a walk for Abreu. So hopefully with Olsen up, we can start to uh, break through. Um, although really we've been doing that all game. And McCann hits a single. But I'm going to hold him because it's only 40% chance. And now Olsen is all of a sudden tired. And that brings up Jimenez. And they're going to bring in a new pitcher who is Clipper. Clipper gets Jimenez to fly out. So there's one down. Madrigal, who's one for two, strikes out. So he's one for three on the day now. And Adam Angle is up, and he gets a catcher card X. And that's an out. So, uh, we got no runs in the fifth, and we go to the bottom of the fifth, leading 6-5, and there's a walk for Puig to lead it off. Kopeck not really impressing me here. Hasn't really impressed me, really, any of the season so far. Santana hitting it away. Hopefully that's a double play. No, it isn't, but it's an out at first, so it was a fielder's choice. And now they knock in the, the tying run as Ramirez hits a double. That brings up Fran Mil Reyes, and he hits a ground ball to short. I'm going to get the sure out with one out already, and now there's two down, and Carlos Hernandez up, and he strikes out. So the Indians tie the game, and so now it is 6-6, and Tim Anderson leading off in the top of the sixth. And he is going to hit a possible home run if he's not robbed, and it may be a home run. It is. So we take the lead 7-6, to six, and I'm going to let Robert swing away, and he is out. Moncada going to swing away. He hits a fly ball. And then that brings up Encarnacion. And he hits a ground ball. So against my better judgment, with a one-run lead, I'm going to send Kopech back out for the sixth. And he walks Bowers. That brings up Roberto Perez, and he strikes out. So there's one down with Bowers at first. I feel a little better about the inning now, and the shield's up. And he hits a line out to Anderson, and that brings up Lindor. And he gets a single. So there's two runners on now, two down. Kopech tired, but I'm still going to let him try to get out of the inning. And it doesn't work. It absolutely doesn't work in the baddest way. So now there's a tie game again, and Santana at the plate, and he grounds out. But the Indians tie the game again, and it's 7-7. So Abreu is up at the plate. He will swing away, and he is going to hit a double. 
So that puts him in scoring position, which is nice. McCann up. I'm going to let him hit away. He's a good hitter. Hits the ground ball to third, but that's Ramirez with one. So. But he bobbles the ball. Great. Unbelievable. Ramirez bobbling the ball. And that's a strikeout. Whitgren up, or Whitgren pitching to us. So Madrigal up at the plate with runners at the corners, and he, he's going to be thrown out. No, no, he won't, because the corners were in. So we do get the go-ahead run, and now it's 8-7. And Engel is out. So now I am definitely going to go to the bullpen. Because we took the lead, and we really need to hold on to this lead. So I'm going to bring in Herrera to pitch for Kopech and Ramirez up, and he walks. Brandmiel Reyes is up, and we're going to throw for him. Hopefully we get him. We don't. And he hits a line out, though, so Ramirez will stay at second after stealing it. Carlos Hernandez, we're going to throw, and he's out. Nice. The Indians ran themselves potentially out of this inning because that would have scored the run right there. It's a double by Hernandez. And that brings up Bowers, and Bowers strikes out. So they would have scored, but they didn't. We go to the top of the eighth. I mean, I think holding a one-run lead is very tenuous. We need another couple of runs. Anderson flies out, though, leading off the eighth. Robert is going to swing away, and he is going to be out. And that brings up Moncada. And Moncada gets a single. That brings up Encarnacion, who strikes out. We get no runs in the eighth. I'm going to keep Pereira out there, and he strikes out Perez to lead off the inning, right between two potential homers. The shield's up, and he pops out right between two walks. So Pereira getting a little lucky here, and then Lindor up, and he will single. And probably steal, so I'm not even going to worry about it. You can do whatever you want. But Puig hits a two-run home run, and Cleveland takes the lead. <sighs> yeah, and Herrera is tired. Shocker. Santana is going to ground out, it looks like. And he does. But they get two runs, and now we need a run just to tie, or we we're facing losing at least two of the three to the Indians. And he's out. McCann is up. Going to let him swing away. Ground ball to second. And he's out. No, oh, no, he's not. He's safe. All right, good. Jimenez up. Need a home run here, but we got a catcher card X. So there's two down, it's up to Madrigal. And he's going to hit a ground ball at second. Don't know what's going to happen there. And it's a single. And I'm going to pinch hit for Angle. I've got to because we have got to try to win this game. So uh, Brad Hand is a lefty who's a 6L. So... Well, you know what? Engel is really good against lefties. I'll let him. I'll let him stay out there. And he does single the run home, so we do tie the game. And I'm going to hold. And Brad Hand is tired, and then that brings up Anderson. They bring in Simber to pitch to Anderson, and he strikes out. But we did tie the game, and now I'm going to have to take um, Herrera out. 
and we're going to have to go to this very shaky bullpen, and I'm going to bring in Cordero. Jimmy Cordero will come into pitch to Ramirez, and he hits a fly ball, and unfortunately, Ramirez, or Jimenez is a four out there. And it does drop, and then that brings up Reyes. And we're going to try to throw and get him, and we don't. So they have a runner at second, and they're going to try it again, and they make it. And so now we have to bring the infield in. Yeah, and it is. Infield and outfielder in. And that's going to be a single, and they're going to win the game. Hey, what happened? So we've lost two to the Indians. Not very good. Lost that one by the skin of our ass, 10 to nine. But still, we don't get any brownie points for losing a close game. So we'll go to game three. Gotta really, really have got to win this game. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing to lose the first two to the Indians. Um, this will be Gonzalez against Carrasco. Um, I'm going to put Mendick in it second instead of uh, instead of Garcia because Garcia is a horrible second baseman. But other than that, we are going to go with it, and uh, that's going to be that. And off we go. Tim Anderson up, and he leads off with a home run. If I'm less than excited, that's because we scored a crap load of runs the last game, and we lost. And we got smoked badly in game two by giving up a lot of runs. So I'm not particularly enthusiastic about the idea that we're just going to walk away with a nice win here just because we let off with a home run. And there's a strikeout by Moncada for two down in the inning, in the first inning, and Encarnacion up. Strikeout. So we do get a run in the first on a Tim Anderson homer, but we are facing what is, for us, a very formidable Indians lineup, and Lindor is out. Mercado is going to double. So obviously Hernandez needed the day off, or um, Roberto, whatever the catcher is, Perez. He obviously needed the day off, and Santana's up. He's going to hit a fly to left, and of course, um, Jimenez, we know, is not very good, but maybe he made the play there. And he does. And that brings up Luplo. And Luplo is going to hit the ground ball at Abreu. And that's an out. So we do stop him from scoring there, which is nice. And Abreu is up at the plate. He strikes out, leading off the second. Grandall up. Grandall strikes out. And Jimenez is up, up, and he strikes out. So we get no runs in the second. We maintain our one nothing lead. No, Roberto Perez is playing, so maybe, I don't know. I don't know what Mercado's doing. In. Oh, yeah, I guess he's an outfielder. I don't know. Uh, Perez is on the first. Reyes is up, and Reyes is going to hit a single. And now runners are at the corners with no outs. And there is another single by the Shields. You see why I was really not enthusiastic about Anderson's leadoff homer. We're just going to hold the ball. No outs, so a very bad situation. Mendick hits the ball at Mendick. He gets the out, but a run scores. And now they have a 2-1 to one lead, and now we have a ground ball at first. But they score another run. And that's the second out. And so now they're winning the game three to one. And Lindor hits a single. 
which brings up Mercado, and he strikes out. But Cleveland gets three runs, and they lead three to one. Polka up the plate, and he grounds out. See, we're hitting a time right now where either fatigue or just injuries are decimating our team. Mendick, <coughs> Mendick hits a home run, though. Makes it 3-2, to two, and Anderson is up. Because as you notice, um, Mazzara is not playing, and I, that's because I assume Mazzara is injured. If he could play, he would have been in the lineups because I didn't change the lineups to take Mazzara out. So, you know, this time of the season, players are going to be fatigued. They're going to be, they're going to get injured. And we are going, it's, we're going to pay the price on the other end for that. So we do get a run there in the third and cut the score to three to two. Santana up against Gonzalez. Mendick gets to the ball and he throws him out. Luplo is up. Luplo walks. Perez is up. Perez hits a fly ball to the left to uh, right field. So Falca will make the play and there are two down. With Fran Miel Reyes up and he hits the ground ball to second. And that's an out. So Encarnacion comes up for us, top of the fourth. We're losing by a run. And he hits a home run and ties the game. Again, I don't want to get too excited because we only just tied the game. And we've been giving up runs and bushels to the uh, Indians. Abreu is up. He strikes out. Grandall is up. Grandall hits a single, so there's one out and one on. Jimenez up. And he's going to hit a ground ball to the third. And that's Chang. So, again, they have Ramirez out. I don't know exactly why because I didn't see him get injured last game. That was a fielder's choice, and there's two down with Polka up. And he strikes out. But we did get a run in the fourth. So we go to the bottom of the fourth and the shields up at the plate. And he's going to hit a fly ball to left. And that's in left field X. So Jimenez may not make the play, but let's see. Maybe he did. And he did. Hernandez is up. And that's going to be a line out. So now they're not getting the rolls, which is good. But still, even not getting the rolls, we're in a tie game with them. And Chang is up at the plate, and he'll ground out. So they don't get any runs in the fourth. And we go to the top of the fourth. <clears throat> Danny Mendick up, and he is going to hit ground ball to the pitcher, and he's out. Tim Anderson up, and he strikes out. And Lewis Robert is going to swing away, and he's going to fly out. So we don't score any runs in the fifth. Go to the bottom of the fifth. In a tie game at three. Lindor up. Lindor is going to fly out. Mercado is up, and he strikes out. So Gonzalez is pitching really well here especially for Gonzalez. And that's going to be a single for Santana. And it's good because in my bullpen, I don't really have good pitchers in the bullpen. And that's going to be a fly ball, thankfully, instead of the home run. So we really need to get a lot out of Gonzalez. And that was the first total zero inning for both teams. We go to the top of the sixth. Mancata is going to be out. Encanarcio. My voice is going on to me. He hits the ball at Lindor, so he'll probably be out, and he is. That brings up Abreu. And Abreu strikes out. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Perez up at the plate. Walks Perez. That brings up Reyes, 
who strikes out. So I need Gonzalez to stay out there and stay not tired as long as he can. But he allows another single, so I don't know. Runners are at the corners. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to pitch it to, uh, nah, didn't work. That knocks in two runs. And I shouldn't have, I'm going to cut it off. So what did he get there? He got both runs. So they score two, and I am going to let him finish the inning. Strikeout for Chang. And that is it. We get out of the inning, but we get out of the inning allowing two runs to the Indians. And they have a 5-3 to three lead with Grandall up at the plate. And he's going to hit a single. I mean, we're within catching distance, so that's good. Jimenez up, strikes out. Brings up Polka, and he hits into a double play, and we're out of the seventh. I'm going to have to go get a reliever. I'm going to make that c -shack. Even though, really, c -shack has had a terrible year for this stratomatic version of our team, and he walks Lindor to lead off the inning. Mercado up. And he hits it at um, Anderson, who makes the fielder's choice out. And then there's a walk to Santana. Luplo up. And Luplo walks to load the bases. See, she's sick. Terrible. Terrible in this game, at least. I'm going to keep him out there because, I mean, we're losing by two, and we're really stinking the joint up. And I, I don't see the point of going through our bullpen unless there's a chance of winning the game that we have a solid chance of winning the game. He hits the ball at Abreu, and he makes the play. So he did get out of the inning without allowing a run. That's only the second zero inning for both teams. But we're still down by two, and we got Mendick up against Carrasco, and he hits a home run. Mendick. So now we're only down by one. The key part of that being we're still losing. But, no, Anderson flies out. That brings up Lewis Robert, and he'll swing away. And he's hit by pitch. That brings up Moncada, and Moncada strikes out. And that brings up Encarnacion, who hits a, a single double asterisk, probably. Runners at the corners, Abreu up two outs, and he pops out. Thank you, Abreu. But we do get a run. So we have cut the deficit to two, or to one, one run. I'm going to take Shisek out, because we do have a chance of winning this game. Going to bring in Aaron Bummer. He'll pitch to the Shields. And he walks. Every time I bring a reliever in, he leads the inning off by walking the very first guy. Hernandez up. And he's going to hit a fly ball. So there'll be one out with the Shields at first. Chang up. And he strikes out. And that brings up Lindor. And Lindor is going to fly out. So we hold the Indians to nothing. We need one run again here, though, in the ninth. Grandall up. He'll swing away. He walks. All right. All right. I'll take that. Jimenez up. And Jimenez hits a single. I'm going to hold us, though. Hold the runner. Polka, I am not even going to let Polka hit. I mean, that's really irresponsible, so I'm not going to do that. Um, we need a righty, though. 
I am going to let McCann hit for Polka. And he hits a fly ball to left, but that is um, Greg Allen, and he's a two. And that's an out. So that's the first out of the inning. Mendick up. And Mendick hits a ground ball to Lindor, who will probably make a double play ground ball. And that's it. And we lose. We you can't handle the truth. Lost all three games to the Indians. Incredible. Partly due to injury, but you can't blame it on that. Every team has to deal with the same thing, fatigue and everybody, whatever. So that's it. I just want to remind everybody, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, give me a like if you like that video, especially if you're an Indians fan. And leave a comment if you can. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.